Okay, so in this video, I hope to show you how to set up two factor authentication on gitlab.com. Uh, now I've created a new account that doesn't have two factor authentication. In fact, it doesn't have anything. I've, I've literally just created this account and um, verified my email address. But the, the process is largely the same, no matter how far through the, you know, how, how well established your profile is or not. So we just come up here uh, and go to settings. And then once you're over here, we can go in the sidebar, go into account, and then you see this two-factor authentication setting here and big green button that allows you to enable two-factor authentication. Now, this is the QR code you need to scan uh, in your authentication application, whatever that may be. Google Authenticator is a good one. Uh, I use 1Password. Uh, now I'm going to show you a, a small bug with 1Password that stripped quite a few people up. Um, what that is, is if I just open the 1Password browser extension. Um, and so we've got a new section and we go over a one-time password and we click this little thing here that allows us to uh, scan. See, it starts to get a bit weird as you can see already. And then we come back in here and we click on this again and nothing's happening. We can't scan the barcode. Uh, yeah, and, and nothing seems to work. I tried importing an image and I get this this thing here. Uh, it's it's a bit it's a bit broken. Now the way around this is yeah, I'll close everything. Is instead of opening the browser extension, if you just open the actual one password app and go to uh, this GitLab test thing here and do it exactly the same as you did previously, uh, just in the actual 1Password app rather than the browser extension. And then you click on the, the code scanner and we just move 1Password out of the way so we can see it. And then it goes green and we're in. And we can see it, it's saved it here. So we hit save and then we've got our one-time password in here. So I can copy that, paste it into the pin code and register with the two-factor application. There we go. Uh, and you can see my secrets, but it doesn't matter because, uh, like I say, this is a dummy account. So we can download the codes at this point. These are these allow us to sort of, if ever we lose our authentication, um, you know, our, our one-time password app, or we lose access to it or whatever, these, these codes will let us back into our account. Uh, so normally we download these, but I'm not too bothered because as I say, it's a, it's a dummy account. And then we click proceed and we should see a blue button here saying manage two-factor authentication, showing that everything's uh, you know everything's working properly. And then you should just be able to uh, log in with two-factor authentication. And if I just log out and go log back in with yep, GitLab test, and we sign in, and then we paste in our two-factor code. And happy days, there we are. All sorted.